Hi, I'm Brad Fridella with United Coin Machine Company, and I'm here today to talk to you about automated W2Gs and how to do the process. First thing we're going to do is actually hit a taxable event on the PowerVision machine. This is going to be a $1,250 win. That's going to trigger the W2G process. You're going to notice that your speakers are going to start making some noise. And on your XP controller, you're going to have a W2G button that's going to come up right next to the Game Tender logo and it's going to be flashing. And you're going to have a green outline around the machine that hit the W2G taxable event. You can go ahead and hit either the W2G button or you can just tap on the machine. That will bring out the W2G form that needs to be filled out in order to get the process going. To fill out that form, you can do one of two things. The first way of doing it is to choose from the previous winners list over on the right-hand side. If anybody, anybody who has hit a W2G taxable event in the previous 24 hours will be on that list, and you can simply click on their name, and it will fill out all of the pertinent information. If, as in this case, it's somebody that has not hit a W2G taxable event in the past 24 hours, you're going to need to collect their driver's license, and you're going to need to scan the barcode on the back of that driver's license. Now, just like with quick enrollment, we have a scanner that will pick up either the small or the large barcode. And we want to scan the large barcode, so it's a good idea to put your finger, at least in part, over that smaller barcode so that the scanner picks up the proper one. I can then put the driver's license right underneath the scanner, and it'll go ahead and scan the information up there. Now, if there's any changes that need to be made, you can simply push your finger into the box that needs to be changed, and you can alter the address. Alternatively, if you have a driver's license that will not scan for whatever reason, you can use the on-screen keyboard in order to fill out all of the information. If, as in this case, the address and information is correct, I would then simply go down to the driver's license state and start filling in some of the information that doesn't come on the driver's license. The state is one. The next field, I put my finger in that box in order to get the cursor into that field is the social security number. I then have to hit the number button down here and populate a nine-digit social security number, which is required for taxable events in Nevada. I then have a type of wager box. I can fill out the type of wager. In this case, that type of wager was a $50 Wild Royal. So I'm just going to put $50 Wild Royal in there. And then last but not least is the cashier name. I'm going to uh, click the cursor into that box, and I'm simply going to type my name in there. I'm then going to use the scroll bar over on the right hand side. I can use it to scroll up and check that all my information is correct. I can also use it to scroll down. And if I scroll down all the way, I'll notice there's two buttons at the very bottom, Save, Changes, and Cancel. There's also another box saying Federal Income Tax Withheld. That box should always say zero. The only time that's used is if the player does not have a Social Security number, in which case you should call United Coin out to make the payment. In this case, we're going to leave everything as it is. It's all correct. I'm going to hit the Save Changes button. If anything was incorrect, by the way, I could hit the Cancel button. That would take me back to the main screen and clear all the data, and I could then start all over again. In this case, we're going to Save Changes. It's going to return us to the main screen. I can then use the Hide button down here to hide that on-screen keyboard. And I notice that my printer over here has started printing the first of two forms that's going to be printed out of the printer. These are our W2G forms that we're going to use for the IRS tax reporting purposes. It's going to print the first form out and it's going to pause, giving me enough time to rip that form off. And it's got all of the information along the form. Down at the bottom, it's got an area for the player to sign their name and date the form. This is the copy of the form that will retained by you and the United Coin Machine Company. You need to take this over to the player, have them sign and date it, and then keep that form for your records and for us to come collect on our next collection day, just like you would the handwritten W2G forms. You'll notice in that amount of time, the second form is printed out right here. I've also still got the money pending in order to be released to the game. In order to release the money to the game, I simply press on that button. I'm taken to the very familiar pay screen where I then go ahead and process the game lock. That releases the funds to the game now that I have my W2G form all signed and ready to go. After which, I can simply go over back over to my printer, tear off the player's copy of the W2G form, and give this copy to the player in order for them to keep it for their records and submit it with their taxes at the end of the year. That's it, and that's how to do a W2G now with the new automated W2G process.